Hi, in this video we are going to start learning PHP and uh, there are two ways to to learn PHP or to even program PHP. Uh, you can use a command line way which says I'm going to type in text and I'm going to create my web pages you know by hand. I'm going to write in my PHP code by hand and uh, you know I get the purity of doing that. The second way is to use a graphical tool uh, like this. This is called Rad PHP, and what we do is we use components to lay out and design the website, and then we write the code to tie the components together. And so, in this video series, we're doing we're going the GUI way, and um, let's go ahead and look at some of these components that we have. And this is going to look very similar to desktop uh, development, right? I'm going to grab these components. I'm going to throw them out here. I'm going to uh, uh, just drag and drop them where we want them to, to be. We've got some bars coming up to help us to do this alignment. So it's kind of a very intuitive uh, way to do this. Now, um, when we do this, what happens is, and this design palette, um, I'm going to go ahead and click on this. If I click on code, you'll see that the system is actually writing code for us in the background. So it, it you know, saves us time from from doing that. Um, in addition, when I look at these components, again, there are just tons of them. Uh, list box, check box, radio button, panels, and I don't know exactly how many are, how many there are, but there are, there are tons of them out here. Uh, we can add pie charts and bar charts and you name it uh, automatically to to our website. If I go down here, we're going to get into database uh, development in, a, in another series, but uh, we'll use those as well. We have web services. We can tie into uh, Google, Facebook. Um, and another thing I want to point out is that um, in this particular environment, and you can do this by hand, uh, although it will look a little bit different, but this particular environment, I can take this uh, code that we're developing for our website, and then I can uh, make it and iPhone or an Android phone application. And if we have our developer IDs, we can actually publish this to the App Store so that people can buy them. And uh, so for me, you know, the more bang for my buck, if I can, if I can do multiple applications within one environment, it just makes things easier. So let's go ahead and get started here. Um, now we've laid out three components. We have this background is our is basically our palette or it's a it's a web page at this point and it creates that automatically um, and we've we've pulled out uh, an edit button an edit button an edit field and it automatically named it edit one and it's because it's the first edit field on this palette uh, likewise we've done a, a label which is here in this button right here so if I were to click run it'll make it Make us save it. So let's type hello world. There we go. Okay, so now it's running. And here comes our web page. Uh, it installs the web server, uh, all the PHP stuff that we need in the background for us when you install this application. And then it just runs it for us. And uh, we can see that we have our edit field, our label, and the button. So if I were to type something in here and click on the button, nothing happens, right? Because all we've done is we've, we've just laid out the application. We haven't told it to do anything. And so um, let's get started with that. If you, in this design view, if you double click on a button, what it does is it takes you to the function um, which holds the code. Now, we haven't talked about functions and variables yet. We're going to get to that. But enough to say that when you click on a button, you expect something to happen. And the place where the computer keeps that code, uh, the stuff that happens when you click on the button is called a function. Uh, so right here it is. And we see that it's called button one click. You know, that's pretty intuitive. If you click on button one, uh, computer go here and execute this stuff. Um, so what we want to do at first is... Um, we want to take the code, the code. We want to take the text from the edit field, and we want to put that um, text in the label field. And that's very straightforward. Take it from here and put it in here. And so to do that, um, we're going to write this out. And we have to start with uh, a dollar sign, which is for PHP, it's a variable. And there's a lot of code in here. It looks complex, but it's actually pretty simple. 
Um, anytime we see a dollar sign, it, we know it's a variable. And we're going to use uh, this operator. And we'll get into that in more detail. And then we use a hyphen and a greater than. And this is, you know, where the, uh, the magic starts to happen because it knows that we're trying to do something. And it gives us a list of items that we can select from. So here's the label, here's the edit, and here's the button. Now we're taking the, the text from the edit field and assigning it to the label. So this is our assignment. So we're going to put it in the label field. I can click on that, or I could have just typed it out. And we're going to do another one here. Oop. If I can get it right. And um, what we want here is the caption. So the label um, object uh, um, or element, ob object is the correct term, um, has a caption field, and that's where it stores the text. So now what we're going to do is the same thing. This. And we're taking the information from the edit box. And here it has text. So for this uh, system, an edit field has a text uh, property and the label has a caption property. They should make it the same, but they didn't. So this is what we're going to do. All right, so now we have it. So let's go ahead and click run. Type in hello world. Click on the button here. And there we go. So we have a working, fully functional application. Now let's clean it up a little bit um, from a design view. You know, when you click on a, when you look at a button, the button should tell you what it's going to do, right? So ours just says button one. I have no idea what that what that would do. So what we can tell it is, let's highlight it first. There we go. And it says caption. So we can call this hello. Click away. And we've changed that. So now at least I kind of know what it is. The label one, it shows up automatically. Maybe we don't want it to do that. Maybe we only want it to show up when we have text. So I can take this out. We can run this again. And it's a little cleaner, not much, but uh, click on that and we're good. And just to walk you through some of these other components, let's play around a little bit. So let's pull up this map. So we put this over here, and when we run this, it's actually already showing it. But we have a fully functional Google Map. We control the uh, the size in our palette there, um, but we can control the map in here. So if we wanted to make this larger, so again, um, these GUI interfaces they let you do a lot very very quickly, and um, uh, they're fun to play around with. We can put videos and YouTube videos and everything that you can think of uh, in here. There's a, you know, our like buttons and all this other, all this other stuff. So um, we're going to go into this in more detail in the other videos. Hope you like this one. And the next one's going to be about variables. So we'll see you then.